Yeah. So we've got I mean, Kyle in Abilene. How you are you? You need a doctor, not us. Kyle? Hey, guys. Doing good. Thanks for taking my call. I love the show. Sure. I just got a, a quick question. I'll be succinct, and uh, I'll take the answer out there. Okay. okay. Um, how do, like, the, the prominent uh, apologists defend the, uh, the contradiction of the uh, omni attributes of God? I've, I've heard uh, a few, and I kind of get lost when they try to explain it. I was wondering if you could uh, kind of make it a little coherent for me. You mean and, how, uh, like, omniscience okay, and omnipotence... Omniscience and omnipotence contradict one another, that sort of thing? Have the prominent theologians, in order to get around the contradictions, redefine the terms mm -hmm. such that God has all power that is logically possible, that is not contradictory. Um, mm -hmm. So they redefine the terms in that way, which actually doesn't eliminate all the possibilities once you start putting them together, uh, but it does right. eliminate one little issue. That's, yeah. it's, that's about it. But then what you can, you can always then, at that point, just kind of nail them for goalpost shifting when they do yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Hey, when I said he was omnipotent, I just meant he was, you know, like really, really strong. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's yeah. 